All right, good morning and welcome to the Committee on Land Use. I am Councilmember Rafael Salamanca, the chair of this committee. I want to welcome my esteemed colleagues who are members of the committee and are present here today. Uh, we have Council Members uh, Baron Deutsch, Levin Richards, Redenchik, Chair Adams, Diaz, Chair Moya, and Rivera. And we've been joined by Council Member Kuhl. I want to thank Chair Moya and Chair Adams for their work on our land use subcommittees. Today we will vote vote out two projects from our zoning subcommittee. First, we will vote to approve the modifications pre-considered LUs 561 and 562, the 101 Fleet Place rezoning for property in Majority Leader Cummels District in Brooklyn. The application as originally proposed would rezone an existing R6 district to an R6-4 district, extend the special downtown Brooklyn district, and establish a mandatory inclusionary housing area, utilizing option one and two, to facilitate the construction of a new commercial office building. The City Planning Commission modified the rezoning from a C6-4 district to a C6-1 district, citing concerns over lack of light and air on this narrow street. Our modifications will restore the original proposed C6-4 district. The proposed development site is surrounded on both sides by 15-story buildings with a C6-4 district already existing directly across the street on a block near within with nearby 32 and 37 story buildings. The originally proposed C6-4 bulk and the applicant's proposed 14 story commercial building is thus appropriate despite the narrow street condition. Our modification will also remove MIH option two while retaining option one. Majority Leader Combo is in support of these modifications. We will also vote to approve pre-considered LUs 576, the 6003 8th Avenue rezoning related to property in Council Member Menchaca's district in Brooklyn. The application seeks approval for zoning map amendment changing an R6 district with a C1-4 overlay to a C4-2 district. The proposal would bring an existing three-story commercial building into conformance with zoning. Are there any questions or remarks from members of the committee? All right, seeing none, I will now call for a vote in accordance with the recommendations of the subcommittees and the local council members to approve 576 and to approve the modifications LUs 561 and 562. Will the clerk please call the roll? Matthew DeStefano, committee clerk, committee on land use. Roll call vote on LU numbers 561, 562, and 576. Chair Salamanca. Aye and all. Gibson. Barron. I vote aye. Deutsch. Aye. Ku. Aye. Lanceman. Aye. Levin. Aye. Richards. Aye. Grodenchik. Aye. Adams. Congratulations, Councilmember Cumbo. I vote aye on all. Diaz. Moya. Aye. Rivera. Aye. Miller. Aye. Gibson. I would aye. Okay. Today's vote breakdown, LU numbers 561 and 562 were approved by a vote of 14 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions were approved as modified. LU 576 was approved by the same vote of four, 14 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All right, thank you. I would like to thank the members of the public, my colleagues, council, and land use staff for attending today's hearing. This meeting is hereby adjourned.